This is Paul Berry, leadership chair for the AMC New Hampshire Paddlers group. In this video, we're going to look at several different ways that you can find AMC trips. I'm going to focus on finding them on uh, links to the AMC activities database because that's the only formal way to sign up and register uh, to go on to one of AMC's trips. I'm going to focus on using a Windows browser to on a PC to actually do this video. So I've opened up a window, a new window in one of my browsers and the simplest way if you want to find a New Hampshire chapter paddlers trip is simply to go to the New Hampshire chapter which is amcnh.org. So once you're here there's a couple ways you can actually look at trips. If you're interested in all of the trips from the New Hampshire chapter, hiking, paddling, and so on, you could click here. But if you're interested specifically in paddling, then you would go to, over to New Hampshire Activity Groups, and you'd scroll down to Paddling, and you'd click that. And that's going to open up one of the paddling web pages. And on this page, there's a link that says click here for upcoming AMC New Hampshire paddling trips. And that'll create a new window and it'll open up all of the trips that are available. And right now in early March, there's seven trips available. And most of them, the register now is available if we go down to a temporary trip I made um, as a demo, you'll see that this trip is listed way out in November and you can't actually register for it now. Registration opens on November 1. You could still click on it and look at, at the information about it. You just can't start re registering for it. The other trips, um, here's another one um, that is similar although I do have it set to register now because I was using both of these actually to create training videos but here are some real trips being offered in April and in March so and these the numbers of trips will grow as as it gets warmer and more paddling leaders run trips but this is the simplest way to see the trips and let's say you were interested in the skill billing skill building trip. If you knew what it was and you wanted to register, you'd just click register now. If you weren't sure, you could click it and it'll bring up the description, when it's going to be, where it's going to be, and an overview of it, who the leader is, where it, sometimes they may put in a map that shows where it's located, other times they may not. Um, but that'll give you some information. If there was a cost, it would be here as well. So that's one way you can get to the to the uh, database. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to see all of the trips that are offered by the New Hampshire chapter. I mentioned this earlier. So first I'm going to close this tab and now I'm back at the paddling page of the New Hampshire chapter. I'm going to click on the the um, home page and now I had mentioned that you can go to New Hampshire Adventures and see all of the trips from the New Hampshire chapter. In this particular case it's going to open in this same tab. So now in paddling we saw that we had seven trips available um, from the New Hampshire chapter paddlers now we're seeing that from New Hampshire there's 31 trips so this is going to include climbing, hiking, um, more hiking, more climbing, <laughs> and eventually um, it has multiple pages if I were to click the pages there's my pool session. 
Um, and if I kept going, here's the skill building class. So again, on these, you can you can register for them if you know what they are, or you can click them just like you had done before. So this is yet another way that you can can actually um, sign up for a trip. You'll also notice that at the top, you could actually delete these things and make a more wide open search. So the only thing that is, is unique up here is New Hampshire chapter. And so if I clicked all here and then said search, now we're going to find that through all of AMC, there's 348 trips organized into a bunch of different pages. So, um, I'll show, show you a little bit more about using these up here in just a moment. So that's a second way to get there is through the New Hampshire chapter website. A third way that you can find AMC trips is to use AMC's website called outdoors.org. So if I were to go up here and start typing in outdoors it's gonna recognize that I probably want to go to this website which is outdoors.org I'm gonna click enter and now I'm on the um, clubs main website and now from this I can click on adventures and as I hover over it it gives me some opportunities I can look at hiking paddling and these will show me all of the in this case paddling trips from all of the chapters but if I want a wide open search I can go down to the bottom of the activities and say search all and so now you'll see that we're pretty much back where we were um, in terms of all of the fields are left as as all and we have 348 activities you will notice that the start date is always filled in as the as today's date and the reason for that is that they if you're looking for a trip they assume that you want to look f you know for a trip that's going to happen not, not a trip that has happened you can actually um, put in um, different um, different um, settings into these things you could have it you could say no I really just want to look at May so you could put a start date of May 1 and end date of May 31 and see that. Um, if you wanted to look at locations, for example, if you um, were up in another state and you wanted to see everything that's going on by that state, then you could do that. In fact, why don't we do that right now? So, so we'll say we want to do it by state now it's giving us all the states so we're gonna say well we only want Maine so no way that I know of to get multiple states but now of the 348 that we have if we search that we'll find that that seven of them are actually in Maine um, I think some of that may be because of the restrictions that Maine has that that uh, you'll notice that that uh, that Maine that of these trips all but two of them are being offered by Maine and this trip that is posted and offered by New Hampshire um, Tim who is running this trip I think in the description has said that this is subject to Maine's COVID restrictions so that trip might have to go away and the very last one it says it's a test post by Berkshire Mass so way out in December so I think they're just using that to do some demos similar to what I had done earlier so that's another way you can do it if I change this back to to anywhere but then I say well I want the uh, the activity to be paddling I could go down here and I could 
click on paddling, you'll see I could also make it more specific as, no, I really want sea, pa sea kayaking or stand-up paddleboard. The problem is that hopefully the leader has, has clicked those things. So generally, I would just stick with something like paddling. Again, starting in March, if we search now. And so in addition to the seven that the, the New Hampshire chapter is running, we're up to 39. And, and oftentimes you'll see this be online with AMC in the title. Um, that's a, um, and here it is at the end of the title. That means these are virtual trips and, and the, uh, you know, the registration is a little, little bit different. There, there aren't COVID restrictions because you're doing this from your, from your home, you know, wherever you're going to log in from. Um, here's a case where paddle across Rhode Island and they didn't enter a picture. So it just came in with, with just a blank, um, well, the, uh, AMC logo, um, instead. Now, sometimes that's what they'll put in, but other times they'll, uh, they may put in, you know, other pictures like, um, let's go back up and change this to hiking, which probably is going to be, um, have considerably more trips. Okay. 171. And these pictures right here, you'll notice they're identical, um, even though from the, they're from different chapters. So that's fairly unlikely. Um, but what it is, is when the trip leader posted these trips, they never actually put in a picture. So um, sometimes AMC automatically tries to find a picture um, that they think is appropriate. So. So based on the fact that it says hike, or I'm not sure, or hiking here in the activity, it grabbed a more generic picture and put it in, right? There it is again. So, and you'll notice on some of these, the registration has already closed for some of the trips. So this is another way you can do it from the AMC's home database. If we wanted to actually take this thing and and leave it as anywhere, get rid of the hiking, and um, say all, and then go back to the group and say the New Hampshire group, and now say committee is paddling. I could also do it by saying activity is paddling, but if I search now, I'm back to the seven activities that I showed you at the start of this video. And that's pretty much how you do the, oh, let me show you one other thing. If some of these have a map uh, indicator, if I click show map, you'll notice that it's showing you the locations of the various trips that are going to happen. So. Um, so, for example, the Patriots trip, I think, is is the one down in Massachusetts. And, in fact, yeah, it's telling you that that's the Patriots Day paddle. So that's another way that you can, can, you can look at trips from, you know, where, where are we type thing and see what's close by so that um, you know, that may help you in determining where you want to go. You do have to check the trip itself just to be sure that they entered it correctly because, uh, um, you know, they may not have the, um, the pin um, placed in exactly the right place. But most of the people that use pins are going to have them correctly placed. So um, with that said, um, let's clear these two things and and you also notice that these are all chapters down here but there's also AMC staff that 
that lead uh, trips as well as adventure travel that are different kinds of trips. So if we were going to take a quick look at the AMC staff trips, right, and um, I want to hide the map so I can just see it this way. So, so there's 15 trips being led by AMC staff. Um, some of them are actually um, you know, trips that are in-person trips, and others of them are are uh, um, are online trips. If we change this to adventure travel, um, I'm not sure if we're going to find any because these are generally trips that are far away. Oh, okay. So you want to go to Alaska in, Ju in July? Um, here's a trip for you. Um, um, adventure travel trips are are you are going to be um, more than 300 miles away generally or they're going to be and or they're going to be longer than a week so um, a lot more involved on those trips and I think I've covered most everything that I wanted to cover um, so with that said you could also search by keyword if you um, we're looking, we'll try ski, see what we get for that. All right, so 168 trips that say ski. Not sure why yoga showed up, but uh, um, it must have the word ski somewhere in there. Um, or <laughs> maybe skill, <laughs> because ski is in skill. Anyway. Um, that's enough. So, I mentioned at the start of this video that Paddlers has a Facebook page and we also have a meetup um, group as well. So, I'm going to go there now, actually, just in a different browser. And so, this is our Facebook page, NHAMC Paddlers. And I'm going to scroll way down because I know there um, was a post for a pool session that happened, I think, back in January. So, okay, February. So this has already happened, but in any event, I'm going to um, take a look at that one. Here's the description that that uh, Jerry posted, or somebody posted when they put this on on Facebook, and you'll notice down at the bottom that they were good because they put the link in that would take you to the activities database so that you could actually sign up for this trip. Because um, again, just responding to something here doesn't actually formally sign you up for the trip. You must use the activity database. So, which gets a little bit more convoluted when you look at our, our meetup page because, you know, people going to meetup expect that they can actually um, click on attend. Um, but again, hopefully, if we found a, well, okay, here's the pool session. So, and, um, so let's see if there's, if I can click this. Okay, and again, there's the link to the activities database. So, so hopefully, at least for the foreseeable future, you're not going to be able to just see it on, on Meetup and click on it saying, I'm going, and, and actually be able to attend. So I've covered, and the chapter does have, the hikers have a meetup group. Um, there's other Facebook groups for the chapter as well as many others for other chapters. So uh, I pretty much exhausted all of the different ways that you can, that you can find trips to go on.
Thanks for watching.